Eight News is taking action tonight after a fuel mix-up at a local gas station left drivers with hundreds of dollars worth of damage. This happened at the Shell in Ruther Glen right off Interstate 95. Eight News reporter Autumn Childress is live tonight with the story. Autumn, what happened here? Well, Deanna, the gas station admits somehow diesel fuel was put into all of the gas tanks. Now dozens of drivers are left with hundreds of dollars worth of damage. It would rev a little bit, but then it would still turn off. Last Wednesday, Grayson Ang traveled from Maryland to Richmond for Thanksgiving. He stopped at this shell in Ruther Glen to fill up, and within hours, major car problems. The next morning, it wouldn't start. So I had it towed to a local mechanic, and they told me it was filled with diesel gas, and I was kind of incredulous. I was like, what? <laughs> That's impossible. The repair was costly. He said the mechanic had to drop and flush out his tank, so it would have been a $40 fill-up, ended up being an $848 car repair. As far as I know, you can't even pump diesel into a regular because the nozzle's larger and it won't fit. So I didn't think it was our fault. Today, we went to the store. <laughs> The clerk, Cindy Rioja, already knew why we were there. Went to start my car back up. It would not start. I had to hold my foot to the floor. We asked if she knew what happened. Diesel guy comes. Diesel guy pumps it into our system. Diesel guy leaves, and all of a sudden we have problems. She says the mix-up impacted all four gas pumps for hours. She estimates hundreds of cars could have been damaged. People traveling through on Thanksgiving, um, being stranded here. So, so yeah, it's it's a big mess. Both Ang and Rioja say they've reported the issue, but heard nothing back about being reimbursed. Today, I reached out to the company. But still, no word yet. And that's why I'm talking to you because I'm very frustrated right now um, about the, the the pro action. Right now, we we don't know. Now, unfortunately, in a case like this, there's really nothing you can do to prevent it from happening. But I will say, just since this story first aired at four o'clock, I've gotten several emails from people saying they too have been a victim of this. So certainly, a story we will stay on top of. For now, though, live in Chesterfield, Autumn Childress, Eight News.